and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys how I do my makeup for when I'm going out. Disclaimer, I am no type of makeup artist. I just kind of chuck everything on my face. I also asked over on Instagram for some questions, so I will be answering those as I go through. I will try to remember to show you all the products along the way. I've also got a peach on the beach can from m &S. As you know, these are my favorite. Besides Prosecco. <laughs> I'm not going to open a whole bottle of Prosecco just whilst I'm getting ready. This is the lowest I could get my tripod, so this is why we're at this very weird angle. Also, the lighting is washing me out, so I look extremely pale <laughs> from what I can see. I've already prepped my face, so first of all, I use this. This is the La Roche Posay Everclear Duo, and this is just like the normal one. They have loads of different ones now. And then I also use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. The first thing I use is the Pore Professional um, Primer by Benefit. I get asked the same questions every time I do like Q and A's and or anything. The first question I always get asked is about my job. <laughs> I'm gonna answer that later on in the video because otherwise I always start off with that. So today I'm actually going for a bottomless brunch in London. And did you do A levels? First of all, I put concealer on my blemishes or moles or stuff like that. So I use the Last Imperfection Collection, wow, well, concealer in extra fair. Um, did I do A levels? So I did do A levels, but only the first year. So what are they? They're called like AS levels. And basically, I was in Mexico at the time you had to like choose so by the time i went into college i can't really remember how it worked the time i went into college the course i wanted to do which was what was it called legal sec oh this is my newfound love this is nars sheer glow and i've literally got this like a week or two ago and the mine is in santa fe so i wanted to do the legal sec call but, but it was too full so they like you know when you like meet with someone and they're like well that's full why don't you do this, this, and this instead. <laughs> what do you have an interest in? Which is so stupid, because like, what a waste of time is that? Like, I should have instantly been like, right, well, this isn't the course I want to do. I don't just want random A-levels. Um, so, I to a different college, but oh no, all my friends were going there. So, yeah, I ended up doing law, English lit, communication studies, maybe? No, oh, I literally can't remember for the life of me law and oh like psychology maybe like completely random needless to say i left after the first year and then i went and done like what is it b tech or no it was like level two something i can't remember business and admin at college i did level two and level three somebody else was like did you like uni blah 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 i did not go to uni girl god i would be terrible i'd literally go to uni to party and that would be that would be it lots of questions about me moving and stuff how long have you been living at home for i've been living at home all my life i literally moved out for the space of six months was it probably not even that and then i broke up with my boyfriend at the time so i moved home we was just renting Luckily, by the way, I do get asked a lot of questions about that. Yeah, luckily we was just renting. So, you know, there was not much to sort out after the breakup. Well, there was really, but like, imagine if you had to like sell a house. Nope, not tanky darling. <laughs> All my life, but obviously I'm in the process of moving out. And when I move out now, that's it. That's it for life. How scary is that? <laughs> oh my God, look, literally the question on top of it is, how old were you when you first moved out? Was it alone or was it with someone? What's your favourite part of the Christmas dinner? <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you, none of it really. <laughs> um, depends, like, if the roast potatoes are done well on the day. So yeah, probably the roast potatoes. Um, and the Yorkshires and the... Um, pigs in blankets i'm not like a roast dinner lover and then i also use the maybelline anti-age eraser multi-use concealer in ivory so yeah i double up on concealer don't know why it's just one of them things that you always i've always done because i want to use both but probably don't need to do you miss being in a relationship no <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is like the longest I've ever been single 
and actually like being single. Do you know what I mean? When I come out of my not last relationship, the relationship before, I was like, no, I miss being in a relationship so much. I love being in a relationship, blah, 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 blah. But now, no. I just like not having to worry about anyone because the thing is with me, when I'm in a relationship, that's it. Like, I'm in love. My whole life revolves around them. <laughs> so it's nice to not worry about anyone else and have to think about anyone else especially like Christmas and stuff. I was talking to the girls yesterday about buying myself a handbag and they was like, do it, because I'm not being funny. If you was in a relationship, you'd be spending that money this Christmas. So <laughs> think of the pros, ladies. And I set using the Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. And I tip it into the lid and then I set where I have done all that concealer. What age do you want to settle down? Not an age. Um, I would never plan my life around age. I tried to do that before. And then things don't go to plan. If I find somebody now, and it just felt right, obviously I wouldn't be like, nope. Definitely not looking for it right now. <laughs> That's for sure. How often do you work out? Um. So if you watch my weekly vlogs, which I've just started, Vlogmas, you'll be able to see in there how much I work out. It, it honestly depends like what's going on in my life that week. Because I like to do gym classes, really. I don't like going to the gym. Because when I just go to the gym, I only go for cardio. And then I do like a weightlifting class, which is on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I, I try to go to that as often as I can and I've also just started yoga so for example on Monday after the weightlifting class it goes straight into yoga like there's a 15 minute break um, so I've just booked on to do both. I don't know what I'm doing in the gym. I just know it just makes me feel better by going to the gym. Do you have any plans for New Year's Eve? No I don't and I actually don't like New Year's Eve. I think it's so overrated. When, sorry, when I say don't like, I mean like I don't care for it. Unless I've got like a house thing, I'd rather just stay in. Something that you really want for Christmas. My Christmas list this year hasn't been very like exciting. I've asked for like a couple of mirrors, just like Ikea mirrors for my flat. I've asked for Alien. I've asked for Nars Laguna, the bronzer. There's nothing I really want. Do you believe in soulmates? And are you superstitious? Yes, I am. Very superstitious. Um, and I definitely believe in soulmates. I, I am a proper, like, I love love. I really do. Oh, sorry. I just set my brows there with this wow brow from e.l.f. in uh, deep brown. I really love this. It has, like, little fibres on it. And then I dust away now all the excess plans for Xmas. I just bronze my face up with um, MAC Give Me Sun. What gives you the ick with guys? So much at the minute, apparently. I'm trying to think though, but like with, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on the person. I'm highlighting my face with Becca Champagne Pop, which I've nearly finished. I don't know. Let me think about that and come back to you. Right, so what do I do for work? I am a operations manager. Well, my official title is assistant manager, but I am a line manager. And I go around the contour of my face with the MUA Sunkiss Bronzer. This is a pound and I absolutely love it. How do I balance YouTube and work? I film at the weekends. So for example, today is a Saturday and I will film tomorrow. Um, I have days off. So this week I have Tuesday and Wednesday off. So I'll probably film then. I love it. It's like, it doesn't feel like a chore. So it's easy. Like I want to edit. I want to film. I... Yeah. Um, so many questions about relationships with food. How do I have a positive one? So so much about weight and stuff like that. Someone said, if you count calories, how do you have a positive relationship with food? I count calories to stay on track. I've lost four stone in weight. So um, I have to. And I don't have a fast metabolism. This is the Morphe palette called Ready Set Gold. Unfortunately, if I didn't count calories, I put that full stone back on 100% I have put on a little bit of weight since starting YouTube nothing that concerns me it's not continuing to go up um I've just kind of 
settled at a new weight, which is which I'm fine with some days. <laughs> But yeah, there's more to life than my weight. There were times where I let my weight control my life, which I no longer do. No, that's not fun for anyone. Being like, oh no, sorry, I can't come around for a takeaway, or no, sorry, I can't come out for dinner because I'm on a diet, or do you know what I mean? Do you have any Christmas traditions? Yes, going out and getting drunk on Christmas Eve. I haven't not been out on Christmas Eve in I don't know how many years, and I swear where to god if i cannot go out on christmas eve i will cry i've got something booked but obviously who knows now because the speculation is essex is going to go into tier three but christmas eve is my favorite day out of the year because everyone's just in good spirit are you renting or are you buying i am buying i only rented previously because well as a trial period and i highly recommend that what are you most excited for about moving out? My own space. I feel like, talking of the ick, I feel like I've got the ick now living at home and every little thing is driving me fucking bonkers. <laughs> Honestly. Because I know that I'm moving. I've just got no patience for anything. I'm just like, oh my God, well, if I was moved out by now, I wouldn't have to deal with this. <laughs> um, I have a very busy household. There's a lot of people in here. Um, obviously my nan lives with us as well so yeah um, there's just a lot like I just can't wait to wake up in the mornings and no one needs to know I'm awake until I message someone or do you know what I mean like I can just wake up in the morning go and get a coffee open the windows listen to the birds I'm just so excited for it who are your favorite youtubers to watch um, my favorite youtubers are Sid and Elle so Fear and Chintzia, I love watching duos because they bounce off each other. Grackle, like Grace Booth, I absolutely love her. I love her. She actually makes me laugh out loud. Um, a girl called Sean. Actually, I'll put her name on the screen now because she has um, she has 2,000 subscribers and I just love her vlogs and I just love her. You know when you want to see someone succeed? Go and check her videos out, guys. It's good to share the... Share the love and find new people, right? Next, I line my eyes. I'm not. I'm no good at this, but I just have to do it so that it blends in with my lashes. I've just thought about something that gives me the ick. Not being open-minded and not giving things a try and just being stubborn. Have you dyed your hair or ever wanted to? Yes. Back in the day, I used to have black hair, red hair, blonde, blonde hair. Not that there's anything wrong with blondes, by the way, I mean, on me. But I am actually going to go a little blonder. A few months ago, I had, like, caramelly highlights. And it's basically all faded now. So next time, Ailish, my hairdresser, and also one of my best friends, she's going to put some bleach in it. What is the best gift you've ever received at Christmas? I got my, um, well, I bought it with money that I was given, so by my nan, but... Essentially, I'm, I say that she got it for me, which is my tag watch. Um, yeah, literally love this watch. I have quite a few questions about, like, would you ever do meet and greets? Do you plan on doing anything like that? And definitely, once Corona's over, I think that would be fun. And I think we'd have to, I think you'd have to be over the age of 18 and we'd have to go for, like, a massive pub crawl. <laughs> How sick would that be? Pub crawls in London, amazing. I've already got a pair of lashes that I used yesterday but these are the ones I use the Ardell Wispies so basically I get my duo and I put it on like the back of something and then I run the lash through it so I put it on the end rather than directly putting it on the lash what will you miss most when you move out I miss like we have this like crazy thing in my house I don't know if you guys have one in your house but basically when I wear my clothes I take it to like this bin in the bathroom and I put it in there and then magically the next day they come back into my room clean it's amazing so i'm really gonna miss that um let me clarify though they come back clean but they do not come back ironed i had an argument with my mum a few years ago and she said i'm no i'm not doing your ironing anymore and since then she hasn't how to get over a breakup i feel like i um have good experience in this um stay busy Honestly, stay busy as much as you can. 
no matter what you're doing stay busy because even though i know when you're going for a breakup depending on everyone but you know when i was going for a breakup and sometimes you'd be out and you'd be like i'd rather just be at home just so i can cry right now because some sometimes you're out and about and it just hits you and you just want to cry and then you do cry on a train or <laughs> in a restaurant better than sitting at home feeling sorry for yourself because i'm the type of person that when i'm sad i'll listen to sad music to make me even more sad because i'm sad <laughs> ensure that they are blocked on everything tell all your friends you don't want to hear a thing about them you don't care what it is, you don't want to know. Then I use the MAC blush in Warm Soul. Someone said, what is your all-time favourite food? Like, when I think about my all-time favourite food, I just think tuna pasta bake. Basically, anything with cheese, mozzarella sticks, mac and cheese, pizza, garlic bread with cheese, cheese on toast. So, probably my favourite food is cheese. My phone's vibrating, but nothing's coming through. Oh my god, that freaked me out. What? Because nothing was showing. Like, it, and I literally, because I'm filming. I'm. Um, this is Ellen, guys. Well, you know Ellen. Um, <laughs> and I was like, my phone keeps vibrating, but nothing's coming through. And then when I pulled down, it said incoming call. Can we get some tinnies for the train? Um. Yeah, we can get tinnies. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys. So I have put my lips on. Use the NYX in natural. And then this is my new favourite at the minute, which I wore recently. I've worn in a couple of videos and I keep getting questions. And um, this is the NYX Lingerie Professional Lip Matte. Oh, here we go. Matte thing in um, corset. And literally, it's not that great if you don't know how to use it properly. So not not know how to use it because i hated it when i first got it but basically you just dab it on and then you dab it it like put a little bit of vaseline on and then just dab it for like five minutes <sighs> now about one minute and it then it goes on good if you just went like that you'd be like oh, what is hannah just made me buy right guys i am finished getting ready if you watched my vlog mesh you would have seen this shirt i am obsessed i mean it's 40 pounds so oh shit it's a bit excessive i don't know but it's like got this like black corset thing over it not corset but kind of corset it's from asos so, yeah and then i'm gonna put a coat on and this coat is about eight million years old <laughs> it's from zara i was gonna wear it with an oversized bomber but the bomber came and it was too big and they didn't have it in any other sizes so i'm just going for the more smarter coat my handbag i am using my mulberry lily medium size this one i hope you guys have enjoyed this video didn't we've still got this on don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one